How's it going everyone? I'm Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner. Welcome back to another video. I'm a... What are you doing? Alright, he's decided to take a break. How's it going everyone? I'm Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner. Welcome back to another video. I'm an online eBay reseller and this week has been a weird one in terms of sales. Um, you might notice we're somewhere different. So today's actually Friday. I normally record these on a Sunday. Um, but our usual car boot is closed, Sunday car boot. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go sell on Saturday and then buy there when we get there early. So I'll just wait, lock the car up, do some buying and then we'll sell all the dead pile, kind of old broken stock and things that aren't selling that we've got. Um, so yeah, it's Friday. Sales so far have been pretty good. I've not totaled up any numbers because we'll do that Saturday night or Sunday morning and uh, film, you know, the full sale thing that we always do. But yeah, it's been a weird one. So um, Sunday, for a long time, weekends for me have been pretty terrible in terms of sales. But Sunday was really strong, about four sales, which is really good for me in one day. Uh, then Monday, we had one big item sell, which again, is great. And then uh, pretty quiet all week. We've probably had a decent amount of sales, maybe five or six or something, but I think they've pretty much all just been super low value and really few and far between. And then all of a sudden, randomly, um, I think I've done about five sales in the past 12 hours and it's been about 125 quid in total, which is probably, you know, just under what I've, I've done already that week. So um, it's actually been really good. I'm hoping we get some more sales today. It's only Friday, so we've got Saturday as well. So if we get a couple of sales tomorrow, I've sent some offers out. It's actually going to be a really good week. Uh, one of the best, probably the best um, in about a month or so. So uh, really exciting. So yeah, um, I thought I'd just butt in with the, uh, this weird walking the dog footage. Hey Max. Um, selling at the car boot. I'm not gonna record that because I don't have a GoPro and I think it'd just be a bit weird in, uh, in Donny walking around with a phone in people's faces. So uh, I'll tell you how we did. We'll, we'll do a, a different kind of breakdown, I guess, as to what kind of items we sold and uh, how much we made from that. And then we'll do the regular everything we bought and sold through the week after that. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It's now Sunday, the end of the week. I've done my accounts and what a week it's been. Sales and both buying have been really good. So let's get straight into it. Total sales this week are entirely on eBay. I didn't sell on any other platforms. Was £358.38. And that kind of, as I said in the beginning of the video, came from a huge amount of sales at the very beginning of the week and at the very end. Hopefully, you know, we can replicate that this week and we have another week of great sales. Um, what we'll do, like we always do, is we'll go through everything we bought the car boot and then I'll go through all the sales afterwards. Uh, car boot yesterday was a bit different because it was the first time I was selling at the car boot as well, which meant it was a super long day. I think we left at like nearly four. Um, it, it was packed, it was too busy to the point where nobody wanted to spend their money because there was thousands of sellers there. But all I was selling was broken or old stock that was worth less than a fiver on eBay. So it was all things that were just kind of not where I keep my stock in the loft, you know, buried. And uh, we actually got rid of quite a bit of it. So I was really happy with that. In terms of numbers, um, we spent at the car boot when I first got there a total of £53.50. So again, sticking to that £50 number, I took more, but that's all I could find was £50 worth of items, which is weird. It always be, it's always like that every week for me, which is odd. Um, sales really slow as i said it was huge and just there was just too many sellers uh we took in 47 pounds 50 but for what i actually sold which was all stock which has been sat around since last year with no interest or things that are actually just not working or broken and i sold them as that um is really good so the way i'm seeing it is everything i bought in the morning cost me exactly five quid now instead of 53 pound 50 because i made nearly all that money back and I've got some good items today to show you, so I'm I'm really happy with that. Five pounds for about ten items. Um, let's get straight into that then. First, we'll start off with this. It's just a nice um, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit quadrilogy. Um, unfortunately, the condition is not great. If you can get one of these new, they're at, this particular one is worth about forty quid, um, thirty to forty. This one is not new, but I sold months ago. It was just my own. Uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy and I think I at least got about a tenner for it but this is a nicer version of it so hopefully you know 10 to 15 quid on that 
it cost me about a pound, so to be fair, it's not the end of the world if I don't get a decent return on it. The only problem is now I've got to try and get them back in the box. Next, we bought some shoes. Um, we got bought three pairs, so we we'll, may as well go through them all at the same time. First thing we bought were a pair of Ugg boots. Now I looked at these and they look completely weathered. But I'm, I'm now 99% sure that these aren't suede Ugg boots. They might be leather. Because if surely, if the suede was worn, there'd still be patches somewhere that felt like suede. But this is like completely like leather all the way around though on every single part so i've got a feeling that they might be leather up boots and i don't know the value on them at all but if i can get 20 for them that would be really good they are well worn but up boots you know they, they demand a good price normally and hopefully they'll sell quite quick um uh, next thing i bought a, a bit of a guess on these i'm still not sure on the value it with Adidas, comps seem to be all over the place. So like this shoe, people are selling them for £8.50, but other people are selling them for 30 quid. So who knows? But they're a pair of Adidas Dragon blue suede shoes. Condition is really good. Um, the fronts are, are okay. Just need a bit of a wipe. The suede overall is in good condition. There's no massive stains on the white stripes either. So that's really good. Again, not sure on the value. If I can get 15 to 20, that's always really good. And finally, we have a pair of Nike Air Reacts. Um, they're different to the last pair that I got. The last pair sold on Depop for £32 something. These ones, look, I'm going to go for 25 Again, it's like some comps are 8 quid, some comps are 20 These are really clean, so I think I'm going to aim high on Depop, about 25 And then I can always drop it to about 20 on eBay if I need to. But again, happy with them. Nice, cool pair of trainers. That's, uh, that's the last of the shoes. We bought a couple of games. Uh, this came in a bundle with something else actually, so let's do them. So I bought, I wanted this, which is a Tetris Bop It, which I've never seen before. And I, I've got the other Bop It from the other week that's worth about 20 quid, so I thought this must be in the same kind of ballpark. But I think she was asking a bit too much for it, so I managed to get a little bit of Planet on the PSP thrown in as well. Now this is only worth about $3.99, but it was kind of free, I guess. So if we can make some money back on that, this is actually not worth as much as I was hoping. It's worth about £10 all in. So that that went for about three quid or four quid to possibly 14. So not a great return, but I just thought it's worth a go and bop it because you never know, this could have been a £30 bop it for all I knew. But yeah, not losing money, but not making a whole lot. Uh, just kind of a standard PS4 pickup now, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is again an odd one where you might get 8 quid for it, but I'm pretty sure I've sold it a few times at about 14 99 As long as you present it nicely, present it seriously, as if you're an actual shop, people are just willing to pay up for it and pay for and, and get the free postage. Um, both discs are in it, both are in good condition. Still has the map as well, I think. Yeah, still has the map, so fully complete. Hopefully 12 to 14 on that. Uh, what have we got next? We've got a really cool item here, which again, the value could be anything. It is a Tomy, uh, Harry Potter, Voldemort, kind of like jewel. It's an ultimate dueling battle trainer and it's new in box, um, really good condition. And again, this is an odd one where I think there's one in America that costs about 30. But then there's one sold in England. Oh, in fact, it is all actually taped up, so you can't even open it to take a look at it. Yeah, there, um, there's one sold in England for like eight quid. But I'm pretty sure it's pre-owned. It can't have been brand new. But this one is. So I think I'm going to aim high on this because it's cool and there's not a lot of them listed on eBay and not a lot sold. So I'm going to go for that top end 20 to 30. Hopefully we'll uh, get a nice sale there. Um, second to last item now. Again, I didn't buy a lot. It was about 10 items in total. But you know, for a fiver, I can't complain. Now this is my first time kind of taking a punt on things like this. It is a Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player. 
I think I paid a fiver for it. And I walked away from it at first because I just didn't have a clue. But I thought, you know, I'll, I'll check the sold comps. They seem like a nice couple. Hopefully it's working. I can test it. Check the sold comps. Looking between 30 and 40, I think. So I'm going to check if it's working. The condition on it is really good. And it's got the original remote. And the battery compartment is mint as well. So I might even be able to push 40 on this. But most likely going to be around 30. But either way, for a fiver and a complete, you know, just guess and then a bit of research i think it was worth it now the best pickup i'd say to last it's cost me 25 quid which i know is paying up a lot for what it is and if it doesn't work i'll only make a little bit of money but i found my second xbox crystal it cost a lot more than the last one i paid a pound for the first one i got this one cost me 25 but Condition overall is pretty good. It's better than the one I had before, which went for 40 odd with no leads to America. Uh, so this is better than the condition I had before. And it comes with all the leads and two controllers. And one of the controllers is very nice. So we've got a original Xbox Crystal S controller and there are sold comps for these with the breakaway lead between 25 and 30 quid. So I think I can either aim for 60 on the whole system or I can try and get 45, what I got last time on the console and then try and get 25 on the controller, which I think I want to do because that's 70. And to be fair, I could sell the console with the leads and the black controller and just sell them separately because the black controller is not great so the analog has obviously been taking a bit of a chew the bottom analog there but i'll test it out i might you know throw the bundle of cables and control with that and essentially make them free sell the console for what i sold it for last time and then clean up this crystal remote and hopefully get nearly 30 pounds for it so that's everything i bought at the car boot uh, again it was a really good day it was too hot though oh my god it was I'm, my foot is like a drumstick lolly, if you know what they are. It's very red, but it, it was good. Yeah, a long day, but it means all these items here cost me five pounds in total. So really happy with that. It's that time of the video again. Let's go through everything that sold this week. Uh, so the first sale, we had four on Sunday. The first sale was Go Vacation on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this went on GSP. It might have only been Ireland, but they paid about £15 postage, so the actual game went for £14.49 plus uh, free postage, actually. Uh, that went on a, on a bit of an offer. I think it, it was only up for about 15 uh, But yeah, go vacation on the Wii, and then literally within half an hour, I sold How to Train the Dragon on the Nintendo Wii. Um, that went for £10.50. Um, that went through GSP as well to Spain, and the postage to Spain is cheaper than the postage to Ireland, which was just insane. I think they only paid a tenner and the one to Ireland paid 15, which just makes no sense to me. eBay are just rinsing money off people, but they will have to pay it. Um, hopefully they didn't think the free postage in the title meant GSP was free. Um, I'm pretty sure it's obvious enough when they're actually buying something. Um, but yeah, they both came from the Wii bundle that cost 25 quid. And we sold the Wii, we sold the Mario Karts, we sold quite a few other games, we sold Animal Crossing. So these are definitely free now. So that was 25 quid for nothing. We then sold a vintage Torchic Pokemon plush, which I've had for ages. I got that from a big Pokemon plush bundle. That one at this point owes me nothing. That went for 10.99 all in. We then sold seven Maxwell cassette tapes, new and sealed. I think I paid two or three quid for them. They went for 19.99. Keep your eye out for cassette tapes because if you get the right TDK ones and things, they can be 45 pounds a tape or 90 pounds for three things like that just crazy money these were just bog standard cassette tapes but 20 quid from three and a quick sale within a month i'm happy with that the best sale of the week which was up for let me think like less than a couple of days i think was the high-tech health blood circulation booster from the last video one of the bolos thank you to george ross from retro reselling for showing some of these in his videos in the past paid £2.50 or £2 and that went within a couple of days for £61.98 all in. Really happy with that. 
after, after them four sales on Sunday, getting that on Monday was just amazing. Uh, the next sale was a graphic novel which came from a big bundle. I paid 30 quid for 12, 13 of them, I think. This one was, it might be the actual last one, and that went for 9.99 all in, which I think is the cheapest I've sold any of them. So just happy to get rid of that now. They were in really good condition, so I was always trying to avoid creasing the corners of them, so putting them in the box full of stock, it's just been a nightmare. But now it's gone. We then sold the pair of Clark's Women's Brogues um, that I bought the last week as well. These were super quick sale. They went for 21 99 all in. Paid five or six on them, so they did cost me a bit more, but it was a quick flip, 15 quid for nothing. Really happy with that. Uh, we then sold a Samsung micro SD card. Um, I wasn't sure the value of these in the, the last video, but they went for the 14.99 plus free postage, so that one of them's gone. Really happy with that. Then sold a Action Comics Superboy Superman comic 1968 or something, I think they were. That went for £14.52 on offer. Um, next, we sold uh, the 3D Viewmaster with the open, unsealed reels that I had. Uh, that came in a huge bundle of vintage stuff with um, like the Fisher Price stuff that I got and the Guitar Trainer and the huge Godzilla pop figure. So bundling all that together, this probably cost me less than a fiver, plus the sealed uh, reels as well. This went for £22.99 all in. I bought that much stuff that, in my eyes, this is owes me nothing. It was 22 quid for you know, the cheapest items in that bundle. Next we sold our bundle of six Monster Jam trucks. They might have been from the last video as well, or the one before, really recent. Um, I sold one for a tenner in the last video. And then the six kind of low priced ones went for twenty two ninety nine all in. We sold a pair of Adidas LA trainers, uh, the suede ones. They went for twenty two ninety nine. I really wanted to charge more for them, but they just had some mud in the suede that I couldn't get out. But I've pictured it really well, and it was very obvious in the description. So hopefully they've realised that and realised that they are a bit cheaper than they should be, and they're, they're happy with what they've purchased. We then sold a Hot Wheels City Stunt Garage playset. I got this for free from Facebook. That went for $29.99 with free postage. I think they retail for about $38, but you can't get them at many places anymore. So I sent out, out an offer, $29.99, and they snapped it up. Um, this next sale is just bizarre. Uh, Facebook pickup, the Guitar Hero stuff. I sold the USB dongle, just the USB dongle. For twenty nine ninety nine, all in, which just is bizarre because the dongle, the guitar, and the game is about thirty to forty quid, but but just the dongles alone sell for thirty quid. So I've now got a guitar here that I'm going to try and get twenty four or eighteen or something like that, and the USB I got thirty four and it cost me two pound fifty for the USB. So the last couple of sales now, these came through yesterday whilst I was at the car boot. Um, the Aquaplay Kids Water Playset. The Made in Germany um, huge thing, briefcase, went on offer for £40 all in. I think I put it up for the top end, 49 99 free postage. Somebody sent me through an offer of 40 and you know, I was just happy to accept that. It cost me four quid, so you know, four quid into 40 on something that was just a complete guess. I had, I would have had no idea that that had any value, but it was brand new. £40, really happy with that. Last item was a Funko Pop. This is one of the last ones from a huge bundle of 30 odd. I paid like 25 quid for 30 Funko Pops at the car boot before Christmas. And this is one of the last couple and that went for 9.99 all in. So it was just a Riverdale uh, Reggie Mantle one, no idea. It, it didn't have that you know, massive value. So 9.99 all in, I was happy with that. And that is everything that sold this week. Again, like I said, £358, I think it was. I'm really happy with that. That is probably like the third or fourth best week I've ever had. Um, so, you know, to kick off the new tax year with a really good April and then a big week of sales in March has just been really good. And, you know, I'm hoping with this Xbox Crystal, some of the nice trainers I've got, we can just keep building up better inventory, trying to get rid of the under, you know, £5 items and just get some nice consistent sales in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you all next week.